There isn't much excitement around this year's RB class, but if history has taught us anything, there's always a diamond in the rough. Does Will Shipley have the potential to be a hidden gem in this class? Find out in this 2-Minute Drill. Shipley is listed at 5'11 and 210 pounds, but it's probably a bit smaller than that. During his final year at Clemson, he was in a tandem backfield with a bigger back, which is probably what his role will be in the NFL. Shipley is a tough player, always moving his legs and looking for an opening to gain a couple extra yards. He has great vision as a back, able to survey the line and pick a gap to attack. He also sometimes wisely bounces a run outside, but balances well with grinding between the tackles. Shipley is a shifty runner, able to cut well to change direction when he sees an opening. Clemson trusted him with a lot of zone run reads, and he frequently made the right decision. He has a high football IQ. Shipley's biggest limitations are physical. He is a smaller guy, so although he fights hard, he can't always break that tackle or be effective in short yarded situations. Shipley also doesn't have great breakaway speed, relying more on his quickness and lateral ability to gain yards. In the passing game, Shipley is experienced and a great asset out of the backfield. He can run a decent amount of routes and with the ball in his hands, he can make defenders miss. His willingness to lower his shoulder and throw his weight forward helps him pick up first downs that other running backs would not get. His elusiveness makes him hard to bring down in the open field and he can break lazy arm tackling. For a pro comp, Shipley reminds me of James White. White was another shiftier back who lacked the power to effectively be a lead back but helped as a pass catcher and used his football IQ to contribute when given chances. For draft fringe, Shipley's hustles and smarts will endear him to teams but his physical shortcomings will prevent him from being a lead back. Shipley fits well as a change of pace third down back that can lead a backfield in the odd week but not someone you can call a bell cow. In a normal draft, Shipley would probably go early on day 3, but in a weaker class and with his strong intangibles, he could surprise and go in the third round. And that's the 2 minute drill.